Good morning and welcome to the Tracker Test Kitchen. Dun dun dun. If you guys have been following us for a while, you know we love Disney. We also miss Disney a lot right now, like many of you. Yeah, and we love Disney food and we miss Disney food. Yeah. And in the past, we've made iconic Disney treats here at home. We have an entire playlist, which I will link down below in the description if you want to check that out, where we made churros, Mickey pretzels, cheeseburger spring rolls, which were Mickey delicious. Mickey premium bars. Oh yeah, we've done a lot of different fun things. So if you want to check it out, you might want to try making them at home yourself. Yeah, and recently we just did a video where we went over our top Disney quick service restaurants. Yeah. And the number one quick service restaurant was Satuli Canteen. And our favorite thing at Satuli Canteen is... The cheeseburger pods. Yeah. So we're gonna try to make them at home today with you right now. Yeah. Uh, we're kind of flying by the seat of our pants here. Well, so there's not like a true recipe, like Disney hasn't released a recipe on how to make it. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna just try our own recipe yeah. and see how it turns out. We're gonna use a similar version of what was inside of the cheeseburger spring rolls, like that that filling. Yeah. Because I think the filling is very similar to the cheeseburger pods. Yeah. Maybe just slight differences. And then we found a recipe to make the bao buns, right. the bao pods. pods. So, and ja I don't know if you can hear Jackson, but he's here helping us as well. Yeah. But so we're just gonna try, we're just gonna try it out. It's a test kitchen. Yeah, and we've never made bao before, so wish us luck. Yeah, it doesn't seem very hard as far as the what the internet says, but I guess we'll see. Yeah. And we're gonna have this little guy cheering us on, huh? Do you love dad's apron? Do you love it? I think you do. <laughs> Show everybody your big smile. Your test kitchen helping smile. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. So for the first part of this recipe, we'll need to make some bao dough. Now let's go over the ingredients we need to make that dough. You'll need two thirds of a cup of warm water, two teaspoons of instant yeast, two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of canola oil, one and one quarter cups of bread flour, plus more if you need it, one teaspoon of kosher salt, and three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder. And you'll also need some parchment paper to line your steaming basket. In a small bowl, we're gonna whisk together the warm water, the sugar, and the yeast until the sugar is dissolved. And then we set that mixture aside until the yeast starts to get foamy and bloom about four to six minutes. While the yeast is blooming, we are going to sift together the bread flour, the salt, and the baking powder. What is that? I don't know. I don't know, it's a good thing we sifted this. What's in our flour? It's like a rock. That's so strange. Is that why you sift flour? Maybe, because there's rocks in your flour. Now that our yeast mixture has bloomed, we're gonna stir in one tablespoon of oil, canola oil. This smells like beer. It's very strange, right? Yeah, I guess this is like, what? what is beer? Beer is just like sugar and yeast though, right? And yeah, it's a different kind of yeast. Oh, like brewer's yeast. And now we combine our wet ingredients with our dry ingredients. We're gonna mix that together with a rubber spatula. It did say that if your dough looks sticky, you can add an additional tablespoon of bread flour until it's less sticky. I don't know if we're gonna need. Yeah, I don't think we will. Yeah, I think ours is gonna be pretty okay. This is turning out pretty all right. This isn't very much dough. Yeah, I didn't I didn't pick a very big portion for the bao dough. I wonder how many this is gonna make. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Now that all the ingredients are combined, we're gonna turn it out onto a lightly floured surface and knead it until it's smooth. You can see it's kind of like not smooth at all. <laughs> and then we let it sit until it rises while we're covering it with a wet kitchen towel. So now, is it too sticky? Did it need to have more flour? Oh yeah, pretty sticky. Oh no. So now that we're, we're back in business. We added about a tablespoon of flour, just so you guys know, in case you need to add more flour too. So this is what kneading is, just like smushing it down? Yeah. Smushing it down and rolling it out with like your the bottom of your palm? Yeah. Oh no, do you need more flour? Still just a little bit too sticky. We added one more tablespoon of the bread flour. How do you know when you're done kneading it? See, it just went until it's smooth, which it is now, okay. but I was just trying to get some of the little stickiness out of it, Okay. some more of it, but I don't want to over knead it. What happens if you over knead it? And then it gets uh, chewy. And now that we've kneaded it until it's smooth, we're gonna leave it on the lightly floured surface to rise underneath a damp kitchen towel. So we're gonna let this rest for an hour and a half to two hours. It should double in size. And then we're gonna get working on our filling, our cheeseburger filling. And then we're gonna make our pods and steam them. And then we're gonna eat them. So just ignore the sound of the baby playing in the background. <laughs> but it has been about two hours or so since we left the dough to rise. 
Should we take a look at it? Let's have a look, see how it's doing. Oh, oh no. yeah, it's stuck to the to the thing. Oh, oh no. no. Is that bad? Do I need uh, it? It's okay. Is that all dry now? This? No, don't talk, don't. Oh, well, was it not supposed to do that? That thing, I was wondering if the napkin was dry. Oh, I thought you meant the dough. No. The napkin is pretty dry, yeah. Oh, that's not good. Why? Because it's supposed to stay wet, keep the dough wet. Well, I mean the dough. I think the napkin may have been a little bit too dry when we put it on there. Is the dough okay? The dough's okay. Okay. We will, we will overcome. So now that the dough is ready, we need to make the filler. And then we're gonna do the dough stuff where we like punch it down and get it, you know, nice and like the right texture. I don't know what we do. Why do you punch it down? You punch it down and then you divide it into into sections because there's probably just like one big bubble in there. Oh, okay, gotcha. So. All right, so yeah, we'll make the filler, which is gonna be the cheeseburger like filler. And then, yeah, we make the dough. Let's do it. So the recipe for the cheeseburger filling that we're using is actually the same recipe that we used when we made the cheeseburger egg rolls, mm -hmm. but we're gonna have it. Yeah, so we made a smaller amount of the dough. So we didn't want to make like a whole bunch of the cheeseburger filling if we weren't going to use it all. Right. So you can make as much as you like, but we're going to cut the recipe in half. So we're going to need a half a pound of ground beef. We're just going to use half of this package. We needed a two scallions. The actual recipe calls for white onions, but we didn't have any white onions. So we're just going to try it with scallion and hope that it works. We also needed a quarter cup of chopped dill pickles. We needed two ounces of Velveeta cheese, uh, one slice of cheddar cheese, but I think we're gonna use half a slice for this recipe. And then we needed a half of a tablespoon of mustard and a few shakes of some Worcestershire sauce and then salt and pepper to taste. So I think it's gonna be pretty delicious. I think the only thing that I'm worried about is the actual bao part of the, the recipe. Yeah. Because we've never made bao and we've actually never steamed bread before. Right. So I don't know how, I guess we'll, when we get to that part, we'll figure it out, but that's the part that I'm like the most worried about is the is the actual like vessel that you put the cheeseburger filling into to eat. Right? Like. Yeah. So what do you think is gonna happen? I think it's gonna turn out beautifully. I feel like every time that I have this problem where I'm like, I don't know, it always turns out pretty good. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll see what happens. I have faith, it's gonna be delicious. I'm pretty interested to see how this will affect the recipe being- Using scallions? Scallions instead of white uh, onion. I think it'll be, I think it'll be okay. I mean, how different can they taste? I don't know, pretty different. You think they're in the same, like they're onions, they're in the onion family. Yeah, let me taste one. What's the difference? Tastes a little bit more green. What? what? Than an onion. Does that make sense? Like, no. And it's not as like onion. It's kind of like. Oh no, you scared the baby. Hey, buddy. It's kind of like. Buddy. Onion. Oh. Okay, sense. so like less less oniony. Yeah, like if I stuck my face down there, I wouldn't be crying. Okay. From like sniffing it, but right. it still has an onion flavor to it. I think it's gonna be good. I think I it's think gonna be work. more gourmet. I don't think I'll use, I don't think I would use the green part. No, 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 I'm not. Okay. Just the, just the up to the light green. Yeah, so we are starting by browning up our beef. I seasoned it with some salt and pepper too. So now that my meat is almost all the way cooked through, I'm going to add my onions, cook up that meat a little bit more, and then we'll add in our other ingredients like the cheese. Oh, and the pickles. So we drain the meat and now we're just gonna cook it up just a little bit more. Just a couple more minutes. And then we're gonna add in our other ingredients. We're almost done. This is kind of like an easy, well, I almost thought this is an easy recipe, but we haven't done the bao, bun, the bao bun part yet. So this part's easy. Yeah. So that's two ounces of Velveeta. We have so much Velveeta left. Oh yeah, time to make some shells and cheese. What the heck? All right, so I'm just gonna cut this up into smaller pieces and then we're just gonna add it in there and let it melt on up. Oh, this is off the heat, by the way. I think this is gonna be pretty cheesy. Yeah, that's the good stuff. And just mix it on up. Just mix it on up. Mmm, yeah. I think it's gonna take a second to melt these. All right, so now that your cheese is all melted, we're gonna transfer that to a bowl to add the other ingredients. I think this is gonna be really good. I think so too. So here's what I wanna do. You know how you make sloppy joes? Mm -hmm. I wanna do this, but sloppy joes, but with this recipe, like this, not, not the sloppy joe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like just a cheesy cheeseburger, loose meat. I think that's like hamburger helper, isn't it? Well, I feel like we used to make this. It was a Publix recipe. Don't you oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. good stuff. Yeah. Ooh, I'm hungry. Good thing we're making these. Right? So much cheesy goodness. 
I can't even get all the cheese out of here. Oh my goodness. So it's not very much. Like that's no. not a whole lot that we're making. So we only have this much dough. So I would imagine if we like cut it into two inch balls, that would probably be about six of them. So I think six is plenty for what we've got. Well, and I will say, I think that the cheeseburger pods at Sassoli Canteen don't have enough mixture. Right. Have you ever noticed that? Like when you're eating them, it's more bread than it is the, the filling. Right. So I kind of want to make ours more filled. Okay. You think that's a good idea? Sure, why not? Okay, so yeah, we'll make it work. I'm cutting up my pickles now. I was kind of concerned that we were not going to have enough pickles, but I feel like we're going to have plenty. And I almost feel like this one pickle will be enough for because we need a quarter of a cup of pickles and I feel like this is kind of a big pickle. So I'm gonna dice it a little bit smaller than this. I, I can tell you this. What? We're in a real pickle. <laughs> Add it into our hamburger mix. All right, I had to put the executive chef in his special spot so he could watch over, and make sure we're doing everything correctly. <laughs> so we have some organic mustard that I don't really like. It doesn't taste that different to me, but I feel like we have this packet of Heinz yellow mustard, so we're just gonna put that in there because I think it's the exact amount that we need to use anyway. Yeah. So that's going in. That's good. I'm gonna add my Worcestershire in, but it's, I don't wanna add too much. Uh... Oh yeah, that's good. Good? Plenty. Okay, give that a mix. Mixing up my, my mustard in there too. And then I think that was everything, right? Yeah. Needs something. What does it need? I feel like it needs more mustard. So just a little, a little bit more than that. Oh yeah, that's good. Is that too much? A little bit of organic mustard in there. <laughs> and then we put some salt and pepper in there. Yeah, so now, so now we're gonna give it another quick taste test. Because this is the tracker test kitchen, we're just trying to figure it out, you know? Yeah. I think that might have been too much mustard. Oh no. Okay, I think I went a little bit overboard on the mustard. I added just a tad too much, but I'm going to add a little bit more cheese before we steam the buns. So maybe that'll cut that mustard flavor. So if you are making these at home and you add more mustard, just be careful, because a little bit does go a long way. So you're just cutting up half of a slice of cheese and we're gonna add that into our... Right on top of the buns before we do the twisty thing on top. Should we do it underneath or on top? I think on top. Okay, all right, you ready to punch down the dough? Okay. Great work. Oh, I think right. it's still too sticky. All right, I've put some flour on my spatula and I'm gonna portion this out with my spatula. I just didn't want to like cut on the counter. And then I need to do it into two inch balls. So I'm gonna see how big this is. Two inches is like about the length of your thumb or like my thumb at least. I just need a little bit more. Let's see here. I would say that's probably about the size that you want. So it's like about it's kind of like fits in the palm of your hand, like about the size of like a small orange, maybe. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to break up the rest of my dough into balls about this big. So now while we're letting those rest for 5 minutes, we can get our steamer up and ready. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the steamer. Yeah. Oh no. So this recipe actually calls for a bamboo steamer. We don't have a bamboo steamer. We just have like a double, like a two pots on top of each other that yeah. are, act as a steamer. Will that work? I hope so. That's what we're going to try. I guess we're going to test it out in this one. Hopefully it does. So this is it. It's, you know, it's got holes in it. We'll put some parchment paper in there and then you put water down there. It says to put about an inch of water in the bottom pan. They have to steam for 15 minutes or until puffed. Oh. So I got, we just gotta keep an eye on them and make sure that we don't do them for too long. Cause what happens if you steam them for too long? Maybe they get crispy. That doesn't seem right. I don't know. Okay. So we took the top part of our steamer that has the holes in the bottom and we put some parchment paper in there. And now our dough balls have been sitting for about five minutes. Okay. So we're gonna put them into a disc and then put some filling inside and then put them in there. From the size of these, I think we're not gonna be able to do all five at once. It says that you can fit five in your steamer, but I don't know how big their steamer is. Right, so from just, the looks of it, theirs was a big old boy. Yeah, I'm just not sure. So yeah. do I roll these out with a rolling pin? You can. Is that what they... Or you make it like a little pizza. Is that what you do? Because that's kind of what I thought, is you just kind of flatten it. Yeah, yeah, make it like a little pizza. And it said it needed to be three inches in diameter, which doesn't seem... Oh, that's it right there. That doesn't seem right, does it? No. Because like, how do you... Let me just see here really quick. I'm just going to try something. 
Oh, that's so big. Is it? <laughs> you think it's too big? That's like four inches in diameter. Is it? Now it's getting on six. No, that's not six inches. Let's see. One, two, three. It's like just about a little over three. All right. All right, so now. Now you take it and put it in the bottom of your hand. Okay. Right? All right. Now you take a spoonful of this, spoonful of magic over here. Okay. Right? Let me bring this over here. Okay. All right. And Too put big? that. Or how much? Like this much? Yeah, let's try that. Right? Uh -oh. oh, it's a finger. Oh no. Okay, and then I gotta put a little piece of my cheese. Hold on. Oh yeah. Yeah, just one piece, I think. Or you can do two like that. Yeah, do another one. Okay, two little All pieces right. of cheese. Now, take your hand and cup it so that it starts to form a little bowl. Yeah, yeah, dude, keep doing that. Keep like oh, keep rotating like it around. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, these, these definitely need to be either wider. That's what I said. Or less filling. So uh, yeah, I think you're doing good. Keep doing that. Okay, just pinch it out a little bit up here. Yeah, yeah. I've never done this before. Well, did you read the instructions or are you just guessing? I'm just guessing. I think you're you're performing something here. Something's gonna happen. Okay, so here's the thing. This first one is gonna be the test because we, another website said it needed to be five inches and this one was only three inches in diameter and it's just not big enough. Yeah. So. But you're doing good. It's it's elastic enough that you are making it happen. I just don't know how to get the, the center like. It says to give it a little twist. I know, but I gotta get all of my, <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like. That's good. Now on this website, it says to put it seam side down. Okay. I feel like we shouldn't do that because it would leak. Like it's got cheese and stuff in it. It's just gonna go on the parchment paper though. Uh, okay, all right. I say that that's pretty darn good looking. I don't like, know. That looks like a little a little bow pocket. Well, I'm gonna make the other ones five inches in diameter, so hopefully it'll be a little easier to get the stuff inside of it. Yeah. So, all right. I'm gonna put it in here, seam side down. Beautiful. They're supposed to puff up though, so should I not have put it so close to the edge? No, no, that's fine. But I, I think we should do three I was only. just gonna say, yeah, I think we only have room for three. Yeah, that's okay. okay. All right, so let me... So let's separate out two of these balls and we'll put them underneath this wet cloth so they don't dry out. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You guys go, go to sleep. It's bedtime. Bedtime for you guys. Okay, so... It keeps like, like going back inside of itself. It's like pizza crust. So how do you make it stay? You gotta throw it like a pizza. Do, 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 I don't think that's how this works. I don't know, I think, oh no, it's getting thin. Okay, so all right. that's, okay, all right. So I think you just gotta do it. There are three buns, and while we're waiting, we totally didn't uh, get the water boiling or anything like we should have been doing this whole time. So it's boiling right now. Oh, is it? No, I mean, it's starting to. Oh, it's, oh. I just got it on the cooker. I was so excited. I'm like, oh, I gotta put them in now. And then we just covered these with a wet cloth to keep them wet, moist. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna cook them up. One website says cook them for 15 minutes, and one website says cook them for seven to nine minutes. So we're gonna check them at seven minutes and see if- I like how that's double the time. So we looked. And the one website that said seven to nine minutes was the three inch diameter balls. Mm -hmm. And the one that says 15 minutes is the six inch diameter disc that turned into the buns. Five, I thought it was five inches. Five inches. Okay, well I was just, I wanted to make sure because I'm like, did I do it wrong this <laughs> it was whole just time? too many numbers for me just then. So I think we're gonna end up cooking these for 15 minutes because they are a bigger size. I'm really excited to see how these turn out. Like, really super excited. Yeah, I think they're gonna be delicious. I think so. Ooh, now it's Tim's turn. <laughs> oh, I didn't play with this one. Okay, I feel like mine's a little thin crust pizza. Oh no. So let's see here. That much? That's what I did, and I think it might have been just a little bit too much, but you can make it work. I think that that's the good. Don't you want to add your cheese? Oh, I forgot about the cheese. Is this two pieces? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, now. 
Well, do what you told me to do and like spin it around in your hand. That's what I was, I'm, I'm not left-handed. I'm not left-handed. Shh. <laughs> oh, is it boiling? You hear that? I feel like it's almost there. Okay. So when you're done making this one, we're gonna put our other ones on the, on the steam, in the steamer. Yeah. I feel like this is you like- You have to push your middle part down just a little bit. It's like, like an alien egg. It kind of is, right? Right. And then you gotta like pinch it all together and then do the little twisty do. Oh, yours is gonna be really good looking. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, did you break it? Oh. You manhandled it. Don't tell anybody that that broke. Oh yeah, it's definitely steaming. <gasps> it's steaming. Okay, let's do it. Okay. You ready? I think so. Okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let's, well, we're doing it. Okay, let's Ooh, get our, this is our buns. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Is that too much water? Was that an inch? That was an inch. Okay. All right, uh, what, seven minutes? I thought you said 15. I know, but like, what are we, 10? Just yeah. to check on? Okay. I don't know, I'll put it at, I'll, I'll do 10. Okay. And we'll see what happens. I got nervous. This is my favorite thing, when he's, he's like, I think we have to do it for 15 minutes because these are the bigger ones. I'm like, okay, so we set it for 15? Seven? 10? <laughs> I don't know, 12? What do I do? <laughs> I set it for 15. Also, while you're steaming your buns, you can exfoliate, is this right? Is this how you exfoliate? It's, uh, you're like detoxifying your face mm. with bao bun steam. That's nice. I'm so excited. I just want to stand here for 15 minutes and just like watch them cook, but I won't. Ooh, I'm excited. And then oh. we're gonna definitely have some leftover, some of the filling leftover. Oh no, it like got smaller as I was just holding well, it in my hand. I said that last time and you're like, it's like a pizza. Yeah, that's what pizzas do. Oh, well, that's a lot. Should I put more? <laughs> Seven minutes? Ten minutes? How what? long how long could it take? What does one banana cost? <laughs> I think you're doing a good job. Look at that. It kinda does look like the um it's the pods from aliens. The oh, eggs from aliens. I was thinking of Stranger Things for some reason. I don't know why I was thinking the eggs were from Stranger Things, but they are from aliens. Yeah. Yeah. Like a face hacker's gonna pop out of this. Oh no. How are they doing? I don't I know. Heard, I heard oh. a click. Oh, they definitely are getting bigger. Oh no, are they gonna stick together? Oh no. <gasps> what happens if they stick together? Then we have mega buns. Ooh, mega buns, I like that. Whoa! Yeah, they got bigger. Oh my goodness, those are so big. <laughs> so just as a heads up, we did take it off the heat around 10 minutes and they were not done. We poked at them, they were a little bit sticky still. So, so I think the full 15 minutes. Yeah, is... we got them back on for another five minutes. So listen to the recipe. All right, let's cross section one of them. Which one are you gonna pick? I think this one, because it looks like the most perfect. Yeah. Okay, so, looks pretty good. Yeah. I'm just gonna do a quick cut in half so we can show you what the inside looks like. That actually looks really good. I think these are pretty darn good. Like sometimes we don't know what we're doing. Most of the time we don't know what we're doing, but sometimes the stuff still turns out pretty all right. Wow. Yeah, I think we should eat it right now. Yeah. Okay. All right, so. All right, let's give it a try. Ready? That is delicious. It's definitely way more bunny. Like mm -hmm. there's more bread for sure. But I feel like it's less bread than the ones at Satoli Canteen. Like I think we get more, right? More filling, what do you think? Yeah, we definitely have more filling, but I think we could thin them out a little bit next time. I didn't realize they were going to puff up this much. Mm -hmm. So, which is bizarre because the bottom is the thicker part where they were sitting and then the top is thin. Well, yeah, because that's where we did the, that was the seam. Oh, the little, okay. The little twist. Where the majority of the dough was. Yeah. Hmm, this is still delicious. Yeah, though. these are so, these turned out great. The bun has a nice like sweet kind of flavor. And I think that's from like the sugar that we added to the to the uh, dough, yeah. and then added to the mustard that we uh, that we put in the filling, it's got like this kind of tangy, I don't know, it just balances out really nicely. And the pickle, I love the pickle, and the cheese. It just it just tastes really delicious. It doesn't taste exactly like Satouli Canteens. Mm -mm. I think it tastes better. I don't know. This is good. Uh, let's give it a try. Let's try, just try to bite right into one. Yeah, there's no no cross section of this guy. That's awesome. Mine was pretty doughy. Let me see, let me get more in the middle. Oh, like it wasn't done? Oh, your whole bite was dough. Mm. These are so good. These are so good. Mm. And like, it didn't really take us that long to make. Like it did take two hours for the dough to rise. Yeah, but if you have time to wait for the dough to rise, and you can do other stuff while the dough's rising. So, 
I just can't believe how good these turned out. Delicious. Who knew we could make bao buns? Bao. Yeah. So some of you guys were saying that when we say bao buns, it's like redundant because bao means bun. So yeah. we're saying bun bun. So this so is a cheeseburger bao. Who knew we could make these? Yeah. So I just quickly wanted to mention that our buns were twice the size of the buns that you get at Satouli Canteen. So you usually get either one or two buns, depending on if you're getting the child size or the adult portion, and they're half the size of these. So just keep that in mind. If you want yours to be true to the Satouli Canteen sizing, I would do the three inch dough disc rather than the six inch or five inch dough disc that we did. So ours was twice the size but i honestly think i like the larger size better because you get more filling to dough ratio and i i like that so i don't know it's just something to think about if you're going to make these on your own at home i think that that turned out rather delicious we've made a few of these disney diy like recipes at home and i'll link that playlist down below in case you want to check out some of the other iconic disney snacks that we've tried to recreate at home but i think this one turned out the best I, well what? Those cheeseburgers, egg rolls, spring rolls were very delicious. They were, but we didn't use spring roll wrappers. We used egg roll wrappers, so they right. weren't quite the same. They're and still delicious. No, they were fantastic. Actually, I want to make those again someday. Yeah. We haven't made them again since, and we need to make them again. Yeah. So I thought that we did a really great job. I mean, I don't want to like toot my own horn or our own horns, but I think we did pretty good with this one. I thought so too. I was actually really scared for the buns. Yeah, I was too. But they turned out great. So. All in all, a fantastic day, a delicious day. Yeah, and we had a little bit of Disney at home, so it yeah. was a really great day, a magical day, if you will. Yeah. Right? So, with that being said, we are off, and we will see you guys tomorrow. And, and now, now it's time, time to pay, pay the, the price. price.